Welcome back to the Calm Mind channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that affects us all, the comfort zone. We all have our comfort zones, those areas in life where we feel safe, secure, and at ease. It's where life is predictable and easy. But here's the thing about comfort zones, they're comfortable, yes, but they can also hold us back. Staying in our comfort zones for too long can lead to regression, and even a smaller comfort zone. When we don't challenge ourselves, we become less capable of handling obstacles. We stagnate. We stop growing. That's why today, we're talking about the importance of challenging ourselves, of stepping out of our comfort zones and into our growth zones. This is where real progress is made. Leaving the comfort zone can be uncomfortable, yes, but it's necessary for improvement. It's necessary for growth. So, are you ready to step out of your comfort zone and into your growth zone? Are you ready to challenge yourself and make real progress? If so, then stick around. This video is for you. Let's get started. Understanding the comfort zone. So, let's start at the beginning. What exactly is the comfort zone? It's a term we hear a lot, but what does it really mean? Our comfort zone is essentially the mental space where our activities and behaviors fit a routine and pattern that minimizes stress and risk. It's where we feel safe and in control. In our comfort zones, life is predictable. We know what to expect, and there's a certain ease that comes with that. We do what's required of us, and we do it well. But while this predictability can be comforting, it can also lead to a routine that's too, well, comfortable. When we're in our comfort zone, we're not being challenged. We're not learning new things or pushing our boundaries. And that's where the problem lies. Staying in our comfort zone for too long can lead to a smaller comfort zone. We become less adaptable, less flexible. We become less capable of handling new challenges. So, while the comfort zone might feel safe and easy, it's not always the best place to be. It's not where growth happens. And that's what we're going to explore next. The consequences of staying in the comfort zone. Now that we understand what the comfort zone is, let's talk about the consequences of staying there for too long. When we stay in our comfort zone, we're not pushing ourselves. We're not challenging ourselves. And this lack of challenge can lead to less capability of handling obstacles. Think about it. If you're always doing the same things, always following the same routine, how are you going to handle something new and unexpected? Without regular challenges, we lose our ability to adapt and overcome. We become less resilient. And that's not all. Staying in the comfort zone can also lead to stagnation and regression. Without new experiences and challenges, we stop growing. We stop learning. We might even start to lose some of the skills and abilities we once had. So, while the comfort zone might feel safe and comfortable, it's not without its dangers. It's not a place where we can thrive and grow. And that's why it's so important to step out of our comfort zone and into our growth zone. The importance of leaving the comfort zone. We've talked about the comfort zone and the dangers of staying there for too long. Now, let's discuss why it's so important to leave that comfort zone behind. Leaving the comfort zone can be uncomfortable. It's in the name, after all. But it's also necessary for improvement. It's necessary for growth. When we challenge ourselves, when we push our boundaries, we learn. We adapt. We become stronger and more resilient. And it's not just about personal growth. Leaving the comfort zone can lead to new opportunities, new experiences, and new achievements. It's about stepping into the unknown and discovering what we're truly capable of. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves. This is the growth zone. This is where real progress is made. This is where we want to be. Yes, it can be scary. Yes, it can be uncomfortable but it's also exciting, rewarding, and absolutely worth it. So, are you ready to leave your comfort zone? Let's take that step together. Identifying your zones. So, we've talked about the comfort zone and the growth zone, but how do we know which zone we're in? And how do we know which zone needs more work? 
We all have different areas in our lives where we might be pushing ourselves, stagnating, or even deteriorating. It's important to identify these zones and understand where we stand. Are you feeling challenged in your work? Are you learning new things and growing? Or are you feeling stuck, like you're just going through the motions? If you're feeling stuck, you might be in the stagnation zone. This is a sign that you need to push yourself more and seek out new challenges. On the other hand, are there areas in your life where you're content? Where you're happy with where you are and don't feel the need to push for more? If you're content, you might be in your comfort zone. And that's okay. It's okay to be content with where you are in some areas of your life. The key is to identify these zones and understand where you need to push more and where you can afford to relax. It's about finding the right balance for you. Moving from comfort to growth. All right, we've identified our zones. Now, how do we move from comfort to growth? How do we push ourselves to become better, stronger, more resilient? There are three key ways to move from comfort to growth, doing it more consistently, increasing the challenge, and seeking feedback from others. First, consistency. It's not enough to step out of your comfort zone once or twice. You need to do it regularly. Make it a habit. The more consistently you challenge yourself, the more comfortable you'll become with being uncomfortable. And that's when real growth happens. Next, increase the challenge. Don't just step out of your comfort zone, leap out of it. Push yourself to do things that truly scare you. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the growth. Remember, it's okay to feel uncomfortable. That's a sign that you're growing. Finally, seek feedback from others. We all have blind spots, areas where we don't realize we're stagnating. Feedback from others can help us identify these areas and work on them. Feedback can be a powerful tool for growth. Don't be afraid to ask for it and be open to receiving it. So, there you have it. Three ways to move from comfort to growth, consistency, increasing the challenge, and seeking feedback. Are you ready to take the leap? Conclusion We've covered a lot today. We've talked about the comfort zone, the dangers of staying there for too long, and the importance of stepping into the growth zone. We've discussed how to identify your zones and how to move from comfort to growth. We've explored the importance of consistency, increasing the challenge, and seeking feedback. But remember, this is a journey. It's not about making one big leap and then you're done. It's about making small steps, consistently, and pushing yourself to grow and improve. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone, even when it's uncomfortable, and stepping into your growth zone. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. So, are you ready to take that step? Are you ready to leave your comfort zone and step into your growth zone? I believe in you, and I know you can do it. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, growth happens outside of your comfort zone. So, let's step out and grow together. Until next time, keep growing and keep pushing your boundaries.